Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Django. Now there is one important concept in Django which is MVT or MTV. Now it is very similar to MVC on different web frameworks available but in Django we use MTV or MVT. Now it stands for Model View Template. But why do we need that? So let's start with a simple web page. So of course right as a user you go to a particular website and you fetch a page. Now that page can be a static page because in a normal page we have two important things. One is the layout of the page and then the data as well. Now data is something which we want right as a user we want to see a data where we want to use a data. But with that we also need a layout. Of course you will not go to a website where you, where you don't have a layout. Even when you go to Amazon and if you see your order history, so you will see all the orders there but then you, you get everything in a proper layout. Now that layout will be designed in HTML, CSS or maybe front-end JavaScript and the data will be coming from database or maybe you can have static content in the HTML itself, you know everything will be static. But what if you want a dynamic content? Example, as per the user, example on Amazon, if you see order history, you will see your order history, right? You will not see my order history. So data on that page is different for, for everyone. So basically when you visit a page, let's say order history on Amazon, everyone will get a different data. So that data is actually coming from database. So yes, data is important. The layout is important. And there's one important thing, which is the business logic. Of course, right, when you want to do something on the website, you, you, we normally refer that as web application nowadays. So in the web application, sometimes you perform some operations. You build your business logic. Example, let's say if you go to, again, Amazon, if you want to add a product in a cart, that's one process. So on the Amazon server, they will be doing some processing. Now, we have to write that code somewhere. So basically, we need three things, the data, the layout, and the logic. And to write, in fact, we can write everything in one page. So we can build a page where you will have the layout, where you will have the data, where you have the logic. But you know, sometimes it's better to separate those things from one another. In fact, we call them as separation of concerns. So we have three concerns, we are separating them. And that's where in software engineering, we have different software design patterns. One of them is MVT. So MVT is model view template. Now, as name suggests, Model is for data. Yes, so the data is coming from, coming from database and that can be linked with the model object, right? So when you say model in your application, you might be having different in, uh, entities and every entity will have its own model object. Now that can be linked with database. Again, we, you will see the examples later. And then on the other hand, we have templates. Now this template will be normal HTML, right? In that HTML, yes, HTML, CSS and front-end JavaScript, but it will also have DTL, which is Django template language. So if you, let's say if you want to introduce some dynamic data in your page, that can be done with the help of DTL. So we will be having that layout and the DTL there. So this data will be coming from the model object, right? But who will link this? And how you will call all these things? You know, you have to provide this navigation somewhere. So let's go back again. So let's say as a user, you want to fetch data. So you are sending a request. This request will go to your application, your web application. Maybe if you're using Django there, so it will go to Django framework. Now in Django framework, whenever you build a project, you will get a very specific file, which is URLs, right? If you remember, we have done that. So in the URLs, you do the, all the mapping, right? So from where you will get the request and then what will happen? So that navigation will be sent to the views. If you remember, in URLs, you do that. You say views dot something. So it will go to views. Now what is view? We have not talked about that. So the business logic which we want to write will be done in views. I know that's a bit tricky because normally when you say view, it should be a, it should be a page, but that's not the case. In views, we actually write the business logic, right? And then this views will use the model object and the template. So what data has to be sent on the template will be decided by view, right? And the connection with the models will be done through view. And that's the importance of this model view template. And that's why we say it's an MVT framework, right? Uh, so it's, it's quite useful to segregate your concerns, it's separating your concerns. Model will work with data, views will work with logic, and template will work with layouts. So that's about MVT. So just to recap, a user will send a request which will go to URLs. In the URLs, it will check, okay, we have to call views because that's what we do in the code. And inside this view, you will write the logic. Plus, you will also connecting your template and the 
model. So you will see all this example in the further videos. Now you can also relate the same concept with MVC. In fact, in other frameworks like Spring, we have MVC. In MVC, we have model, view, controller. So whatever is done in model in Django, same thing happens in MVC, which is M, the model. Uh, then we have view. So the, the work of this template in those framework is done with view and the view job will be done with controller. Not exactly because in other frameworks, we have to configure the controller as well. We don't have to do that in Django because it will be done by the Django framework. So they are quite similar, but with this main difference, which is in views, we don't control stuff. Right? That's the thing about MVT. If you're getting confused, just ignore MVC, focus on MVT, MVT, model, view, and template. So I hope you are enjoying this video in the comment section and do subscribe for other videos. Bye.